So today we are going to recite 36th Shloka from Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 4. Api Chedasi Pape Pyaha Sarve Pyaf Papa Krittamaha Sarvam Gnana Plave Naiva Vriginam Santarishyasi Api Chedasi Pape Pyaha Sarve Pyaf Papa Krittamaha Sarvam Gnana Plave Naiva Vriginam Santarishyasi Api Chedasi Pape Pyaha Sarve Pyaf Papa Krittamaha Sarvam Gnana Plave Naiva Vriginam Santarishyasi Api Chedasi Pape Pyaha Sarve Pyaf Papa Krittamaha Sarvam Gnana Plave Naiva Vriginam Santarishyasi You can follow me. Api Chedasi Pape Pyaha Sarve Pyaf Papa Krittamaha Sarve Pyaf Papa Krittamaha Sarvam Gnana Plave Naiva Sarvam Gnana Plave Naiva Vriginam Santarishyasi Vriginam Santarishyasi Api Chedasi Pape Pyaha Api Chedasi Pape Pyaha Sarve Pyaf Papa Krittamaha Sarve Pyaf Papa Krittamaha Sarvam Gnana Plave Naiva Sarvam Gnana Plave Naiva Reginam Santarishyasi Reginam Santarishyasi Api Chedasi Pape Pyaha Api Chedasi Pape Pyaha Sarve Pyaf Papa Krittamaha Sarve Pyaf Papa Krittamaha Sarvam Gnana Plave Naiva Reginam Santarishyasi Reginam Santarishyasi Word to word translation um, Sorry, word to word meaning and translation By His Grace Shri A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Srila Prabhupada ki Api, Api, even, even, chit, if, 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 asi, asi, you are, you are, Api Pyaha, Api Pyaha, of sinners, of sinners, Sarve Pyaha, Sarve Pyaha, of all, of all, Papa Krittamaha. The greatest sinner. The greatest sinner. Sarvam. Sarvam. All such sinful reactions. All sinful reactions. Jnana Plavena. Jnana Plavena. By the boat of transcendental knowledge. By the boat of transcendental knowledge. Eva. Eva. Certainly. Virginum, the ocean of miseries, the ocean of miseries, Santarishyasi, you will cross completely. You will cross completely. Translation Even if you are, 
considered to be the most sinful considered to be the most sinful of all sinners when you are situated when you are situated in the boat of in the boat of transcendental knowledge transcendental knowledge you will be able to you will be able to cross over the ocean of miseries Cross over the ocean of miseries. Yeah. So we'll just read a small portion of the purport. In the ocean, however expert a swimmer one may be, the struggle for existence is very severe. Now, the ocean here is the material world. Okay, the cycle of birth and death. So here, the Lord is continuing telling about the glories of the transcendental knowledge. So in the previous shloka also, he told something and now he, in continuation, he is adding to the glories. So he says, Suppose a person is in the ocean and he has to swim to come to the shore. So ocean is huge, vast and at every step, you know, it is very difficult for the person to swim. However, a great swimmer he may be. You know, he can be an expert, but crossing an ocean is not so easy. He might cross a river, but not the ocean. So in such situation, Krishna says that it's possible if we have a boat. So just like if a person is in the middle of an ocean, he is trying to swim over, but how far he can go. But in the meanwhile, if you cry for help and if somebody just uh, gives you a help, comes in a boat or puts a rope or, and just lifts you up from the ocean, that is easiest rather than you swimming and coming in search of the shore. So similarly, in the ocean of the material world, it is said that you need a boat of Krishna consciousness, the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. I mean, taking the shelter of Lord Krishna. Then the entire ocean becomes a puddle. And what is the size of the puddle? Just equal to the hoof print of a calf. Such small it becomes. So when one gets into the boat of Krishna consciousness, it is, it, you know, crossing this material ocean becomes very simple. And he says that it is very blissful also. Because you enjoy throughout and you will be purified. And finally, you will be able to cross the ocean of miseries. So all you need to do is chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Why? Because that gives you, that purifies you and gives you the uh, transcendental knowledge. So you need a boat, a boat of transcendental knowledge to cross this material ocean. And then what else do you need? An able boatsman. And who is the boatsman? The spiritual master. Then you need some favorable wind or else again it becomes very difficult to maneuver the boat. So that favorable wind is scriptural knowledge. So even if you are the sinner, actually most, most sinful, then also this boat is strong enough to take you back to Godhead. So present times people are ignoring the transcendental knowledge, focusing on only the material knowledge without realizing its importance. So no matter how much other knowledges we um, get or we try to learn, if you don't have the transcendental knowledge, then our life is a waste. So only material knowledge you will be going through repeated 
birth and death cycle. So everyone should climb the boat of Krishna consciousness so that you can cross this ocean of miseries easily. <laughs>